हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज माय फोर्स पार्ट सेक्शन ऑन पी एन पी शेप ऑन स्टार्टअ केट सो इन दिस चैप्टर आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू एंड गिव यू हैंड्स ऑन हाउ वी कैन डिप्लॉय द डिप्लॉय द डिप्लॉय यूजिंग द प्रिविजनिंग स्क्रिप्ट इन टू आर टैलेंट सो सो बिफोर गोइंग अ हैंड आई एम गिव यू अ सम ऑफ द स्टेप्स आई मीन सम ऑफ द प्री रिक्वेजिट So for example the release preferences add app or sharepoint user profile to add a new property and term store to provide a tenant admin and uh, add permission to microsoft sharepoint graph so these are the prerequisite and these are uh, must be uh, follow uh, uh, not in sequence but uh, yeah so release preferences is very important for that you need to go to the admin portal so admin portal uh, there is option where you can choose the release preferences and set for everyone and once you enable this it would take 24 hours so you need to wait for a 24 hours so this is the uh, first condition and i've already and uh, mentioned a couple of time in my previous uh, sections i mean 1 2 3 every uh, section i have mentioned these steps so uh, so yeah so these uh, this release preference is very important if you are not going to enable it you will not able to see the uh, app management section so uh, so let me uh, quickly uh, going to uh, and this is my uh, to to my tenant so here you will see there is option uh, release preferences options so it's already opening so i'm going to open it again so just give you a, a how we can change it and so this is you need to do so once you do this changes you will wait for 24 hours so next step uh quickly go to the sharepoint tenant and uh, let me show you add app for sharepoint so you need to uh, add a app so for that you need to go for your app store app catalog so click to the app catalog so app for sharepoint and then uh, you need to uh, drag and drop uh, your uh, apps from under the provisioning folder Uh, sorry package folder you need to drag and drop to here so i have already did it so i am not going to uh, do it again so you will need to sh- make sure you, there is no errors so this is uh, the condition second um, that you need to be take care the another is the user profile so user profile so so again we will go to our tenant S- Now let me close all other tabs. So here we need to click this user profile section, and in the user profile section, there is an option to add a property. It's called manage user properties. You click this, and at the bottom I have already did. So it's PNP hyphen collab footer my link. So this is a setting. Uh, i mean this the property that you need to create and this property is hold the uh, user preferences link so so it's spinning uh, i think it will not take uh, much time so i'm waiting okay so there is it so rest of the other property are same only you need to change the length and other properties more or less same the same name and the same display name then once you done you save it and the next thing is called term store so go to the term store this link click to this link and you will see in the terms for administrator and you need to specify the tenant administrator i have already added here so you need not to be uh, i mean uh, so 
uh, you just uh, grab the tenant and there is another uh, is called app management you need to click uh, uh, to the app management and at the bottom you will see this is a graph API I have already approved it so you need to approve it so once it is done uh, so you are good to go I think uh, this is all about uh, the prerequisite section uh, and all the information is also available in the PNP uh, starter uh, pay uh, starter kit uh, home page as well so if you face any issue you can uh, grab this information as well so let me uh, show you this is another part where i i'm going to provisioning uh, I'm, I'm going to run the provisioning script into to my tenant so for that i first uh, i'm go inside to the provisioning script and these are the provisioning script and that this is a deploy dot ps1 file and this is i'm going to uh, run so before going ahead uh, what I need to do uh, you need to first install this uh, SharePoint PNP PowerShell uh, online.msi so this is the latest one you need to install uh, to your system so once it is installed you can uh, use those script I mean to connect to your tenant so this is also uh, kind of prerequisite so let me uh, this is a command.exe so i'm going to switch to uh, the powershell so this is an open tool and run as administrator powershell as written as administrator is called a commander this tool it's so uh, available uh, open source so you can it's a very cool feature so you can control c control v and commander so cd uh, yes i press control v so i need to post double quotes and okay so here we go so the first step uh, we need to uh, connect to the tenant so uh, the command uh, would be uh, uh, connect hyphen pnp online so here i need to specify the url of my tenant so let me grab the tenant url so the url uh, yes there is it so uh, this is the admin so I'm going to replace the delete the admin hyphen admin so press enter it will ask my credentials so I have stored my credential into key pass so let me open the key pass so this is the one so let me copy Oops, I think the wrong username is not copied correctly. So let me do it again. So let me wait for a couple of minutes to connect to my tenant here. So it's connected successfully. So the next step would be to deploy uh, to run the deploy dos ps1 command so i have already written this command here so i'm going to replace this so i specify the prefix basant so so i can uh, easily identify so the site will um, would be available like the name of the site slash uh, name of the i mean infotech nine nine two one one and slash site slash basant dot uh, basant uh, portal so this is the name so here i need to again to copy the my credential mm, yes it's connected and if it's first it will read the hierarchy.json file I already mentioned that this file is contained the information hierarchy.json file you can uh, I mean um, here you will see that is creating the HTTPS that 9211sharepoint.com slash site slash basant portal now it's creating the basant.hr 
now next habit would be uh, basant dot uh, it's another is called man management or managed i i forget the name uh, one is the one side collection is hr this marketing okay so the the next would be a marketing so let me refresh and see if there is any uh, changes yes there is it so it's this is basant portal so it's so i'm opening in and you will see right now the branding is out of the box branding available so so the script will be apply the branding and uh, uh, and everything you will see this link will not be there when the branding will be available okay so we need to wait for the script yes it's also the creating basan marketing so it's also done is applying right now and is applying the template to the site and so let me refresh it okay so it's done so i think i pause it and so everything is done so so yes it created everything and it is get one warning because it's uh, alerts already there and i mean so if you see this is the site and this is the hr site and this is the marketing site so that's it uh i hope you, you will like this video if you like please uh subscribe to my channel and uh, i will keep you posting the latest updates on pnp so thank you thank you very much